Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. And today we're gonna to talk about those situations when you need an urgent fixture library and it's a weekend and you need it like very, very soon and very quickly. And I will show you how to adapt you uh, adapt the fixture files that we already have in the library to the one that you already to the one that you need. So I know. Uh, look, the 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 back tracker is full of requests, and every day we receive a lot of requests. I mean, here's just a just a little uh, glimpse on on the personality request, and every day we receive. 10 plus 20, sometimes 10, sometimes 20, sometimes 30 library requests and everyone and some of you asking likes to be urgent. We cannot make everything super urgent. This is why I would rather show you a technique how to come out of the sticky situation when you actually need a library and you need it sooner then we will be we might be able to make it for you so the good news is uh, the magic queue uh, at the time of recording has got more than 38000 fixtures in the library that means that you are in 99% uh, most likely sorted with the library that we already have in the system you only need to do is to adapt it to the right uh, to the right channels and the, and the ranges and this is how it this is how I would go with and this is how you could use the magic queue the power of magic queue the the google uh, the campus fixture finder and also the correct library uh, the, the correct manual so okay so first of all let's start with the situation where you need a library and you need that library really quickly I would say don't need to come to the personality. You can, you can for sure request the library, but that will take time. But if the time is in essence and you need it urgently, if you need something urgent, put in the summary as urgent. Nevertheless, today is all about making it very quickly yourself. Okay, so first of all, let's ignore about Backtracker. We go on the Google. And we type in campus fixture finder. I already mentioned this before a few times, but this is the campus fixture finder, and this will allow you to quickly find the library that you will need, and that we may already have actually in the system in built. So you might be in a luck if all the channels are there and only ranges uh, that needs to be adapted. Some of you may say, what am I talking about? What are the ranges? So I'll show you two examples of, uh, um, of the Ch Chinese brand fixtures or OEM fixtures that, and, uh, that has uh, two types of manuals. One of them are useful manuals and one of them are not, not really. So here's the example. Again, this is the, just a the third party. I'm just showing you how the not useful manual looks like. So if you look here, this is just, a, it's just, again, third party. If you look here, it says here, for example, seven channel mode, channel one dimmer, intensity flash. So let's, let's pretend that this is actually a strobe or shatter, but then they will have sh flash again, again, not, not really useful because you don't really see what they do. But in reality, I would suspect this fixture has got the like sort of the backlight and it's got the front light uh, LED. This is this is why um, it could be uh, two different controls. So in this case, you need to you need to realize that uh, this information here is absolutely not useful. So you'll have to guess. So if you need to guess. All you have to do is again we're going back into the uh, we're going back into the uh, the fixture finder and in the fixture finder we will try to use the data as the first channel is a dimmer the second channel is intensity uh, or shutter and so on and so forth so if it's a seven channel fixture in most cases you will be absolutely fine so if you're going to the uh, more fixtures like say for example 13 channel uh, 13, 13 channel fixture or 15 channel fixture. Again, I find it really not useful because all you have is the channel numbers, but there are no ranges. So if you look at the, if you look at the, let's say intensity of flash, let's pretend the, 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 the company actually meant to say a shutter. So if we look at the shutter, it says from zero, uh, from one to 255. 
Okay, so where is open shutter? Where is strobing shutter? Where is uh, random? Where's pulse? Or where's the other effect? So we actually have got zero clue what it is. So this type of manuals are not very useful, neither for me, not for you, not for our engineers. Because all our engineers will see this, they'll make a, a generic library, and then you may complain that they it actually doesn't work right. And they will not work right simply because we do not know ranges. Yes, dimmer, no problem. Red, green, blue, again, no problem. White, no problem. But when it comes to intensities, effects, color macroses, we need the ranges and they're not here so again these type of libraries are not really useful for us so if you bought a fixture uh, from the uh, not un, uh, from unknown brand please request uh, a range for us to be working with or make the range write it down on the paper and supply it uh, submitted together with the manual that way you will help us to create the best library that's going to work 100% straight away. So again, this is not the best type of libraries, uh, manuals that, we would, that will help us to create a good library. So here's another type of the, of the manual. Again, it's, it's also um, a fixture from not very known brand. However, this library is actually, in my case, it's called LED BSW200. Again, I took this one directly from the, uh, from, the, uh, from the back tracker. So this is one of your requests. So again, we're going through. Now here is more useful because if you look here, it says, right, you have the channel number, the name of it, the value that it represents from two, from two, like this is the range, and it also defines what's going to be the like. For example, they, they give you the the um, extra notes and extra information what each channel and the range will do, and this is really really good. Again, like when you hear this, the the uh, it doesn't matter where the fixture is manufactured. When it comes to the manuals, we need to see something at least like that. If we don't see any of these ranges, we cannot make the library for you. Uh, it, it, we cannot make the good library for you. We can make only generic library. Okay, so, but you can see here, this is eight channels, so how many channels? Okay, this is 14 channel fixture, okay? So let's say we'll take the very real example of this fixture. We may not have it in the library. I mean, my, the guys already might, might have made it, but I will show you how to actually adjust the library to make it working for you. It's not gonna be the, the tutorial about creating the fixtures, it's only adapting. So let's go quickly into finding the fixture that we need. So in my case, I want to find a fixture that will have 14 channels. Yeah. So let's say in our case, it's a 14 channel fixture. So here I will specify that I have 14 channel. Okay. In my, in my library, I need to adapt it. So uh, intensity channel, let's look intensity channels. Number seven, fine. We're going to select, so find channel number seven. Strobe shutter is channel number six. Six. Okay, so this has got a pan channel, pan channel number one. Don't worry about one and two, you press one. And then tilt channel, you select number three. Okay, so three. And then if you want, you can also look for the extra channels. Let's say channel number focus, number 13. So we're going to select this one, we're going to use focus, and then we're going to select. 13. So now you've done that. If you have more channels, you can fit it in if you want so, or then you press search. So then it finds for you one fixture that has the name like the one that you need. So it shows you, it says ION 2304BA2 and uh, you open the view DMX chart. So if you open the view DMX chart, now we added the new option called show hide ranges. So if you click on the ranges, you will be able to see the ranges we have in built. So that way you can always compare. So if you look here and it says here, okay, so pan tilts, I will find pan tilt speed. That's all okay. Shutter. Okay. So now we look at the shutter and we can see that shutter strobe. So it's drag means probably um, uh, closed. Uh, that, that's, that's just a guess. 
okay so uh, or they, probably they want to say dark okay so let's say dark is 0 to 3 and then 4 to 127 and you look here and that doesn't match at all so what it means is that means these shutter channels will not work for you so that means when you patch this light, we can suggest you to patch this light, it will actually not work correctly. And this is why this whole tutorial is all about. So then let's go to the other one. Again, uh, you can go through the color channels. I'm not going to adjust all the color channels. I will only show you some of the basic channels to look at to make sure it all works. The rest you can figure out yourself. So then let's go through the other one that may be important, like for example, prism. If you look at prism, channel number 10, here it's called gobo rotation aha uh -huh. so that is incorrect so prism we've got ah no it's actually yeah prism rotation is actually so it's got two prisms this has got only one prism so this is the differences as you can see and then for example the important channel especially if you have a lamp on lamp off that will be a, um, a control channel or reset channel or it's called lamp channel and this is where you look here and you'll see that control channel again doesn't match at all however the channel list is very very close so instead of you creating everything from the beginning which you can do and for example if there's only little changes you need to adapt then it's much easier to find go find that fixture and adapt it and let's look how it's going to work 